Good morning. This is Shamor with another installment of Rahe's I Eagle Eye Report. The East Science experiment that was sent to the International Space Station returned to Earth in mid-September and made its way back to us here at East. Space scientist Taylor Davis conducted the analysis of the two sample and the two ground control samples and submitted the results to the National Center for Earth and Space Science Education. Now, we are attempting to regrow a new colony of spirulina algae from the sample that went to space. The two patches are expected to return to East sometime in November. Seniors, are you interested in going on a trip to visit colleges in the Philadelphia area November 9th to 12th? If so, see Mr. Ferguson in the College Prep Center, F-116, to find out how you can qualify for this free trip. Attention all scholars, want to improve your grades? Need help with homework? Want to prepare for the SAT or ACT? Then come to the UR Prep Academy after school on Tuesday and or Thursday, open until 6 p.m. See Mr. Ferguson in the College Prep Center to learn more. And now, your SAT, ACT question of the day. If you know the answer, go to the College Prep Center and tell Mr. Ferguson. Any student who answers the day's question correctly will be entered in a raffle to win college swag. Please take a look at the following equation. X2 plus X minus 12 equals 0. If A is the solution of the equation above and A is greater than 0, what is the value of A? Debate team will meet today after school in Mr. Travis' room, D241 from 335 to 430. Hope to see you there. Anime anyone? Anime club Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, 330 to 430 in D244. Bring yourself, bring your friend. Now here's Alejandra with more announcements and your words of wisdom. Hey, hi. Did you know that most famous actors begin their careers at the high school stage? It's true. Actress Viola Davis once said, I became an artist, and thank God I did, because we are the only profession that celebrates what it means to live a life. Fellow scholars, stop by Tuesday and Thursday after school in the auditorium. Come see what this year's dramatic production is all about. Of course, bus passes and snacks will be provided. Now here's Dr. Bach with this year's first Mission Achievement Award winner. Congratulations, Marcos. You've been selected for the Mission Achievement Award. I selected you because you show tenacity in your efforts. You consistently do your classwork, work cooperatively with your peers, and um, participate in class discussions. So you've done a great job. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Congratulations, Marcos. Staff, if you would like to nominate a scholar who emulates one of the three tenets of our East High School mission, simply fill out a nomination form found in the main office and hand it to any administrative assistant there. At the homecoming game, the Pride of Rochester marching band made history by performing the first field show in the RCSD. We are so proud, especially of our East members of the band, Paulina, Adriana, Angel, Aviana, Samir, Jonathan, Joshua, Marilyn, Jael, and Carly. The band is playing again tomorrow night at the Wilson game and will be traveling to the Corning for a band competition. Are you interested in joining us? Come see Ms. Fox down in the A-Wing for more information. Eagle Eye and the Proud of Rochester Marching Band is proud to bring you highlights from their halftime field performance at the Edward J. Cavalier Stadium. Please enjoy.
Hey, juniors and seniors. This Monday, October 16th, the Rochester Area College Fair will be coming to East High School. Representatives from 40 co 14 colleges will join us in the library. If you want to know more about SUNY Alfred State, Alfred University, SUNY Brockport, Finger Lakes Community College, SUNY Geneseo, Genesee Community College, Houghton College, Cuca College, Monroe Community College, Nazareth College, Roberts, Roberts Wesleyan College, Rochester Institute of Technology, St. John Fisher, or the University of Rochester, <laughs> quite a list. See your counselor for a pass. Scholars, did you know that East High School has its own YouTube channel? You can find this channel by visiting www.rcsdk12.org forward slash East YouTube. There, you will find additional highlights of the great things that take place at East High School. Tell your parents, your family, your friends, and check it out today. Please also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can receive email notifications of our newly uploaded videos. Oh, as always, remember to give all of our videos a thumbs up. This past Friday was Friday the 13th, and Halloween is coming up in a couple of weeks. So, what better way to get into that spooky spirit than to read some scary novels? Stop by the library to check out some killer thrillers presently on display in the library showcase. And now, for your words of wisdom. Take a moment to remember the last time you worked hard to do something. Maybe you worked hard on a writing assignment and received a good grade. Maybe you worked hard to save money for something special. Or maybe you worked hard cleaning your room. When you work hard at something and then see the results, all the hard work seems worth it. You feel good about yourself. Booker T. Washington, is one of America's greatest teachers, believes strongly in the power of education and hard work. Here is what he says to us today. Nothing ever comes to one that is worth having, except as a result of hard work. Today, work a little harder and move closer to what you want. Then, see if you feel better about yourself at the end of the day. And remember, we got the power to change the world, he's high. Now let's get to work. <laughs>